a lot with this report. Tyler is often considered the medical hub of East Texas. But what many of us don't know, didn't know, is the important role one local hospital plays on the global medical state. From scientific breakthroughs to state-of-the-art patient care and one of the nation's most elite phys physician training programs, recently I had the opportunity to take an exclusive look inside the system that makes UT Health Northeast invaluable to East Texas. Here's tonight's special report. In the heart of East Texas, sitting atop a grassy hill is one of the most advanced medical facilities in the nation, UT Health Northeast. You know, we were the old tuberculosis hospital many years ago. People still call us the chest hospital. We're hardly just the chest hospital anymore. In 1977, the chest hospital was acquired by the UT Health System, training tomorrow's physicians today. Dr. Calhoun says by the year 2025, the U.S. will be 60,000 doctors short of our growing demand. And baby boomers like me are now beginning to enter into their 60s and 70s and 80s. Which makes their highly competitive residency program invaluable to East Texas. We'll get 600 applicants for uh, eight new slots a year. For a program that has served the East Texas community for decades. And of course, we, we always try to get some of the best. So. And we, we generally are able to do that. Physicians like third year resident Dr. Steven Sepulveda from Dallas. I saw that the training was excellent, that the location was great, and uh, that the people were a pleasure to work with. And keeping these trained physicians in East Texas is something the faculty works hard to do. We currently have uh, probably around 100 primary care physicians who are practicing just in the Tyler area. Sepulveda says he's not going anywhere. I was born in Texas. I love Texas. I want to stay in Texas. While other medical institutions continue to downsize, this hospital is expanding. Because UT Health Northeast is an academic medical center, its patients have access to some of the medical industry's most advanced technology. The new building houses the hospital's cancer center, recently accredited by the Commission on Cancer. We have about $40 million of cancer prevention and cancer research going on on the campus now. UT Health Northeast is home to two $7 million linear accelerators used specifically for radiation treatment. It was probably one of the most important investments we've made in this campus since I've been president. The facility is also home to the nation's first GE tomosynthesis system to create three-dimensional multi-layered mammography scans proven to save the lives of women with dense breast tissue. Mental health is an additional sector in which UT Health Northeast is expanding its services. 1.3 million people live in the 28 counties of Northeast Texas. Approximately 85,000 have serious mental problems, but they don't have access to treatment. We're specifically uh, trying to tailor our services to deal with the poor uh, and uninsured who have mental health problems. They've recently opened a psychiatry and behavioral health center with an additional 70 beds for inpatient treatment. And while physicians are working to take care of patients in this main building, it's in the back of the campus at the Biomedical Research Center where scientists from across the globe are working toward finding cures for some of the world's deadliest diseases and conditions. It's exactly how one would envision a medical research lab, authorized access only, scientists in lab coats, all with a common goal to improve the quality of life for mankind. It's a tall order, but one that has been delivered time and time again under the leadership of Dr. Stephen Idell. I'm 30 years in and uh, we're moving it along. It's a bit of a marathon, actually. Dr. Idell and his team are currently working on a treatment to reverse lung scarring, a potential life-saving discovery for people with cystic fibrosis. It is scheduled to go into clinical trial in 2016. If successful, this would be another major accomplishment added to the growing list of medical breakthroughs with East Texas ties. The Z-Pak that everybody takes, including myself, was actually field tested here. So were other antibiotics like Augmentin and Clarice. Dr. Idell credits his dedicated team to the center's success. The reason that we're competitive against the Harvard, Yales, and Hopkins of the world is that everybody here pretty much lives and breathes it. No one else does the degree of bench research uh, that we do in this region. A region where the future shines bright for the people who call East Texas home, like Dr. Calhoun's daughter, who's staying in the family business. Uh, she'll be doing some of her academic rotations here. 
so that'll be interesting. And Dr. Idell's son, who will be on staff as a psychiatrist. We're told it's the people that make UT Health Northeast so special. I didn't think I'd come away with friends for life or mentors for life, but that's what I have. And the patients. I just feel that we're very blessed to have a wonderful patient population here. We're going to do all we can to make sure that we keep them healthy and they get the best medical care possible.